Hello, everybody. I am making this video to show off this program that I've made. It is pretty cool. I, ca I call it Norgor because uh, basically there's only NOR gates. So the way a NOR gate works is that if any of its inputs are on, then its output will be off. If all of its outputs are off, then it will be on. So here we have these purple ones are switches, and when they're bright, they're on, and when they're not bright, then they're off. Okay, so just... Uh, show you as an example right here uh, this I'll turn this one into a switch and as you can see the, uh, the input of this node here is this one so when I turn this one on it turns off okay I'm gonna delete those and I'll just show you a few examples of stuff that you can make with the NOR gate if you know about logic gates and binary and stuff here's a uh, toggle or an SR latch or I don't know what the hell you call it but as you can see it saves the state so I can toggle it between this state and this state which is kinda cool so that's how you can make memory and you may be wondering with only a NOR gate uh, how are you gonna make other kinds of gates well you can make an AND gate like this so this uh, node here will only turn on if I turn both of these switches on as you can see otherwise it will not turn on but as you can see, when I turn both of these on, then both of these will turn off, which allows this one to turn on. So <clears throat> that's an AND gate there. That's pretty cool. So we got AND gates. We got OR gates too. See, this is a NOR. Each of these nodes is like a NOR gate. Uh, by the way, the yellow is the output side of the connection. So as you can see, this is an OR gate. If either OR one of its inputs is on, then this one turns on. So on, on, and also if both of them are on, then the AND gate turns on and the OR gate turns on. Now, how could you make an XOR gate? Well, it's quite easy. I just have to connect this one to this. By the way, this is basically inspired by Minecraft Redstone. With the torches and stuff like that, you can effectively do the same thing in Minecraft. But uh, this is supposed to be like a, a nice uh, version of Minecraft Redstone. So, except it's not 3D, which I guess you could say is a problem. Um, so as you can see, this is an XOR gate. This one turns on if only one of its inputs are on. So if this one's on, it's on. This one's on, it's on. But if both of them are on, it's off. Okay, so we got an XOR gate, we got AND gates, we got OR gates, we got basically all the logic gates we need to make pretty much anything. Uh, you can also send out, uh, I'm going to use Minecraft Redstone lingo, but basically one tick pulses. So the way that this thing works is that basically updates all of the nodes based on their connections every frame. So you can kind of get cascading motions uh, where if you have several in a row, like, oh, what am I doing? Here, you use shift to make connections. You just hold shift and you drag in between them. Um, you can sort of see, I'm gonna turn this one to a switch. It kind of cascades down. By the way, it's going pretty slow, right? Uh, I've made it so it's like 10 frames a second but uh, it can go much faster than that. I just made it, I slowed it down so you can actually see what's happening because otherwise it would be blindingly fast and it would also eat up a lot of the CPU power so I decided to slow it down. I think 60 frames a second would be good too but at 60 frames a second you still can't really see what's going on. So here's an example of uh, this little thing sends out a one tick pulse so when I turn this one on this one will flash on and it'll send a little loop uh, carrying around in this thing. So, look. so now we can see I have sent out a single little tick and it's going around like this. So I can now use this little circuit thing here to make a flashing uh, node. So I don't know, I can use this as a clock if I was trying to make a computer. And uh, so what kind of stuff you can make with this? I've already made a full adder. I'm not going to show that. But I will show you this little thing I made. And it is a binary to seven segment display thing. It's a lot of connections. I did it all by hand. As you can see right now, basically I got all these nodes. And when I turn this one on, that's a, this is the binary input, right? So this is a two, that would be a three. This is like a four. And what we can see over here is that when I put in a zero, so this is zero, all of them are off. This one turns on, and as you can see, we have a zero shape, sort of, right? And if I do this as a one, then we get a one shape, right? Like that. 
this one turns on when this one is on and if I do this then we can see that we have a two shape see one two right kind of and we got a three see one two three so this is a three in binary and this is a four in binary so we got a four shape pretty cool we got a five shape see this one turns on five and we got a six so this is six in binary and this is a six written in decimal and this is a seven it's not a very good seven i think but i should have left this one on but uh anyway that's my seven there we go that's our zero and this is our eight pretty easy just have all of them on as you can see this connection doesn't turn any of them off and then we have oh yeah a nine see this one turns on when it's nine and we get a nine on the output so that's actually pretty good that's nice uh we get this and you can make a binary adder you need to use XOR gates to make one of those so I will I don't know maybe I'll try and construct one really quick nah I won't do that but uh, you, you basically get the idea here you can you're supposed to be able to make anything you can make with redstone you can make with my uh, with my program and theoretically you can run it as fast as you like whereas opposed to Minecraft it runs at a maximum rate of 20 ticks per second right uh, whereas mine uh, can go like much faster because it's not doing anything else like it is in Minecraft. So here's my program. I'm going to make it so that you can um, use these buttons so you can pick different tools and make this kind of stuff because right now you have to use keyboard. But uh, there's my program. I call it Norgore because it's just Norgates. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed my video.